ready, sir? You ready, sir? Let's go, fight. Here we go. Bike Clock, brought to you by Miller Lite, the original light beer. Cheers. It's Miller time. Storley in the red gloves. Secor in the blue gloves. Logan Storley, you just heard it. Webster, South Dakota. Same hometown as Brock Lesnar. Storley, four-time All-American wrestler at the University of Minnesota. Exactly like Brock Lesnar. <laughs> but way smaller. continue, exactly. 100 pounds less. Talked to him yesterday at the weigh-ins, Jimmy. Very nice, polite young man. Really enjoying the voyage that has started for him in MMA. And it started very well. I like the way he's staying calm here. Good leg kicks so far. Matt Secor, known for his submission game. That's really been the key to his success so far in MMA. Eight wins by submission out of his nine. Six and zero, oh, Logan Storley in a total time of 14 minutes and 32 seconds. That sounds great. I mean, that's impressive. You love a guy who can finish. It's crowd pleasing. Blah blah blah. But it makes you wonder. Okay, has he been in those deep waters? Has he had to question yeah. himself? Has he thought about that 14, 15 minutes? Going hard for the Kimura. Good step over by Storley, but Secor staying with it, almost taking the back. And we're seeing the strength of both guys. Yeah, great takedown, but the jujitsu, Secor going for it. Logan Storley did wrestle against Penn State here on numerous occasions. He actually said his Minnesota team won a couple of the regular season meets, but when it got to the big stuff, it was like, ah, we went back to the Twin Cities disappointed. Wrestled against Ed Ruth collegiately. And Penn State's Ed Ruth will fight later tonight live on Spike. Oh, nice, nice short stuff. elbow. Beautiful. Working out of the half guard. And one thing you have to keep in mind, he wrestled Ed Ruth. He's fighting a welterweight right now. Mm -hmm. Ed Ruth's a big middleweight. It's a strong guy. Another good right hand. He's cut him up bad. Looks like it's over the eye. That is a bad cut. There's big blood time. everywhere. You can see why Storley has so many quick finishes. I just thought that was true. Oh, nice elbow over the top. Right at the same spot. He's targeting that cut. Looking for a sixth first round finish. Storley trained a few years ago with Ryan Bader, CB Dalloway, Aaron Simpson, former Bellator champion, U.S. Olympian Ben Askren. Then spent some time in Vegas. Now Jimmy is in South Florida with Henry Hoof and ruthless Robbie Lawler. And I asked Robbie about Logan, and he said, he's a great kid. Foley, that's why I'm here, because he is a great kid. Big ground and pound by Storms. Pressure not letting up. He doesn't need a lot of space to land big shots. Seiko trying to roll through, get a half guard sweep here. Jimmy, you were referencing the damage from a short elbow in one of the earlier fights. Yeah. They're Doesn't so, take a lot, yeah, right? They're so good for ground and pound. You don't need a lot of space, and the turn on them can really slice the guy up. Saw so what Kenny Florian famously did from the bottom. Yep. It's incredible. Sean Shirt. Yep. Pretty much bled all over the rest of the Love fight. That. <laughs> Kenny actually said it, he had like a taste, like a, a taste of the iron in it. it I, I don't want to talk about it more, but it was pretty great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. True, true. Part of the sport, buddy. Part of the sport. <laughs> so you want to be a mixed martial artist. Yep. Secor remaining calm. And a veteran like Secor right now, you're thinking, okay, bad round one, mm -hmm. but it's round one. If I can get through this, maybe this kid will slow down a bit. Oh, good right hand again. He's waving him down. Uh -uh -uh. I don't think so. One of ten four-time All-American wrestlers from the University of Minnesota. Many call him the greatest in his weight class not to win a national championship. You can have the best season ever. Everything can go great. It all comes down to the NCAA time. Time, time. Yeah. Right. Stand up. Stand up. Let's go, fight. 20 seconds. Dan Mergliata stands him up. It's more like the NFL than, well, let's say, college football. You need to peak at the right time, peak yeah. at the playoffs.
Good start for Logan Storm Storley. Matt Secor, Logan Storley, round two. Oh man, great job of the cut, man. Not bleeding at all. That's a huge cut. Storley opening up with some kicks. Logan Storley, such a great wrestler. He's not afraid to kick. You grab it. I can defend a single leg. I've been doing that my whole life. Exactly. Interesting setup. Left arm low. Right hand is cocked though and ready to go. Yep. Storley right set that up beautifully. Easy. Beautifully. Close guard. You know, it reminds me a little bit, you know, Matt Hughes. An all-American wrestler, of course. There were better guys. There were guys who had, who had been more decorated than Matt Hughes. What he did so well is he was so good at integrating that big shot into the takedown. It was all seamless. Overhand right, right into the takedown. He was so good at setting it up in an MMA way. MMA Reminds wrestling, me freestyle, Greco-Roman yep. wrestling, very different. Very, very different. You only have to worry about getting kneed in the face during a takedown <laughs> attempt in MMA. Yeah, exactly. Storley with a lot of pressure. Now we're going to find out the intensity of Storley in a round two, which he has not seen before. When we start conserving energy. We start thinking about round three. We let it all hang out looking for the finish. This is the longest fight of his professional career. Previously, he had won 13 seconds in the second round. So this is the longest fight for Storley as they stand him up. Not busy enough. You heard Robbie Lawler say earlier, make him uncomfortable. Having a giant cut on your forehead, that'll make you pretty uncomfortable. I would agree with that. <laughs> One problem with Secor's stance is he's really turning that left shoulder in. Now the Philly shell, the little Mayweather there. It's hard to defend leg kicks. The front leg's a little bit turned. You gotta be a little more square to deal with leg kicks. And right now he's not in the stance to do that. Secor fighting in the Bellator cage for the fifth time. Two and two. Just past the midway point of this three round battle. He's not even trying to check those kicks. Not at all. And the stance is in, he can't do it anyway. Knee's not pointing in the right direction. And again with the takedown. Just blast the double. First effort is working every time. Yeah, first effort for the takedown. Webster, South Dakota, town of 1,800. Logan went to the same high school as Brock Lesnar, and they have interacted over time. Logan, very young, and was up around one of Brock's training camps for a big fight. Wrestle out of South Dakota, Lincoln McElravey. Wrestled for the University of Iowa, three-time national champion for them, five-time state champion. Wow. When you win state in the eighth grade, that's, that's impressive. impressive. That's impressive. <laughs> the Dakota Destroyer was his nickname. Phil Davis, Phil Davis, Ed Ruth, both national champions. Didn't win a state title here in Pennsylvania. More on that later, because Phil Don't had some, some great insight yeah. to why it didn't happen. We're going to make you wait. One minute, Logan, one minute! Well, you want to stay there, you got to keep busy. Matt Secor, you know, it's like, hey, you know, I'm, he's got to keep going, stand us up. But, yep. you know, stand up hasn't been going great, and Stoll has been able to take right. it down every time he's Separate. wanted it. But nice and clean, nice and clean. Back it up. Secor not able to get his game going at all. Logan was pretty young when he was sparring and wrestling with Tony Ferguson, one of Brock's games. He's going to try to go for that Kimura counter. And Storley just too quick for it. He can armbar him from here. If he steps over, he's not even going to try it. Stay on top. Don't play jujitsu with the with the expert. Time 
ticking down here in round two. And it's a half guard sweep, but not going to make a difference with this amount of time left. Storley going to go up to the third round for the first time in his career. There is ruthless Robbie Lawler, one of my favorite people in this sport. He's got that that little grin and laugh, yeah, very unassuming, and as dangerous as anyone in the history of the sport. Incredible power. And how many people start in the game at 19 and have Final careers this let's long? Go, guys. He will fight again on December 16th. Goes all the way back to the Militich fighting system. Got a fight against Dos Anjos. Right now, Rufus Robbie Lawler all about his teammate Logan Stork. Early in the game, Jimmy, the Militich fighters ruled mixed martial arts. Dominated. Ruled it. Yep. Jens Pulver, Matt Hughes, of course, Pat Militich. Yep. Rufus Robbie Lawler. Yeah, Tim Sylvia as a heavyweight champion. They controlled at one time, I think, three belts at once. Because mm -hmm. remember, they had uh, they had 185, they had 155, they had 170, and they had heavyweights. But I think they had three at one time. If you go back far enough, you get the Rich Franklins and the Marcus Davidson, yep. who would go to Iowa to train with those guys. Little evil, Jens Paul. Yep. Dave Benet, first medal middleweight. Yep, Minnesota guy. Yep. And really the philosophy hasn't changed. I mean, it's it's you know, he's grinding them out, just pressure, making you want to give up, incredibly well-rounded. As much as the game has changed, those attributes haven't. Correct. Yeah. Pat was the champion at 170 for a while, and then kind of kind of gave the baton over to Matt Hughes, who became, of course, a Hall of Fame. Storley on top. Secor very difficult to finish here. And if you're Secor, you got to start thinking, look, I got to turn this around right now. Whatever I, whatever fantasy I had about how I was going to finish this fight at Penn State, this better happen right now. Because he is way behind on my scorecard. First round, I gave 10-8 yep. to Storley. Second one, I could go 10-9, but he needs a finish for sure. Short punches over and over. Hit me, baby. Hit Ooh. Me, baby. Come on, let's go. Golden him a little bit. I heard it too. Taunting the young buck. Yes. He's hit you, baby. Okay. All right, here you go. I'll hit you. I got one for you. I'll hit you again in a moment, too. <laughs> Just stand by. What I love about that is that's a veteran move. Oh, you want, okay. Yep. I'm not going to get him motion. Right. I'm going to give you a second, then I'm going to walk, and then I'm going to whack you. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, ready? Maybe get him to be just a little over anxious and catch him. Not yet, though. Well, I love story. He didn't take the bait. Waited for a minute, and then hit him when his time was right. Storley actually had three amateur fights when he was still in high school. Unbelievable the amateur system. The guys come in. There's, there is no 1 0, 0 0 anymore. Guys are coming in with a lot of fights because of that amateur system. Great thing. Tyron Claxton, we just saw a moment ago, 7 0 as an amateur. Yep. Sequel finally in a good position. Rolling for a leg lock? No way. No way. Ninety seconds remain in this fight. Storley's in a position where he can just stay smart. Get up, let's go. Get up. Well, 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 just hold him. What are you gonna do? Let's go work. First time Storley's gone into round number three. Six and zero is a pro. Side cradle position right to the double leg. Oh, done. Easy.
there was some excitement in the voice of Logan Storley, not only being in Bellator again for the second time, Jimmy, but, you know, fighting here at Penn State, where he battled for many, many years. It, it was somewhat of a Big Ten homecoming yeah. for him as well. Yeah. Great crowd here at Penn State. They understand the grappling, they understand the wrestling. Very educated fans. Great place to have a fight. So he had six wins in 14 minutes and 32 seconds combined. This fight goes the full 15 minutes. But a dominant performance by Logan Storley. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we'll go to your three judges at cage side. Your first judge, Cardo Urso, scores the fight 30 to 26. Well, judges Greg Munsky and Michael Sparacino. Both see the fight the same, 30, 27. All have it for the winner by unanimous decision, Logan Storley. So now we have the natural segue. Logan Storley, All-American wrestler. Later tonight, Ed Ruth, All-American wrestler. Phil Davis, All-American wrestler. Ryan Bader, All-American wrestler. And for more, once again, we check in with Jen Brown.